everyone, this is Sci Soldier here. Welcome back to our Let's Play Dominions 4 Storm of Vampires. It is now winter in year three of the Ascension Wars. Uh, it looks like we've done some blood hunting and we found a decent amount of uh, blood slaves there. Uh, we had a battle. Marignan attacked us in the uh, province of Endless Pain, or Plain rather. And we have managed to defeat them there. I believe we had a decent amount of province defense in there. Uh, it was definitely more than enough to defeat the little small force that they sent at us. And they've also attacked us in the Green Marshes. Uh, in the Green Marshes, we actually lost that battle. So, take a look at that one. I actually was under the impression that I had a decent amount of province defense there. Oh, uh, let's take a look at that. Apparently, I made a terrible oversight there. Because I should have easily had enough more province defense than that. I don't know how we uh, managed to miss that. And uh, we had an unexpected event in MAG. We Looks like unfortune has, or misfortune has increased. We're going to go ahead and take that province back with our count and his, uh, his Y-handers there. We're going to go ahead and have them attack the closest enemy. And I guess we'll have them attack as well. Okay, hopefully that will be enough to take that province back. If not, uh, he is immortal anyways. Alright, we've got 16 more his Y-handers there already. Let's go ahead and set him to researching. Take a look at our research. We are, I don't know, another two or three turns from getting level 6. And... It might actually behoove us to switch over to doing a little bit of research and construction and actually get construction level 6. Very powerful magic items would allow us to quite possibly go ahead and start summoning some horrors. Uh, of course, in order to do that, we're actually going to need this next level of uh, research and blood magic anyways. And after that, we will have met our goal for Curse of Blood. So let's go ahead and recruit a bunch more fish people here. We're going to go ahead and recruit another of these uh, commanders there. Looks like they can only lead about 40 troops. Okay. That's about all that we can get out of that province currently. So we've got these guys preaching. I believe I'm going to go ahead and give another lifelong protection contract to this priest here. We'll move him to the rear. And move him up there. So at that point we're actually going to have four people with lifelong protection contracts, which is not terribly bad at all. We're going to go ahead and forge another one of those. And let's go ahead and move this priest over here so I can continue to preach in that province. Okay. Apparently I've neglected to search for magic sites there. I have to rectify that problem. Okay. Are these guys... They're actually crossbowmen. Let's just go ahead and move them on up there. We could actually very well go ahead and 
put some blood hunters in there as well. It wouldn't hurt to uh, just go ahead and build a lab. Of course, I currently have no one there that can build a lab. So we're moving him up there. He can do that. And let's take a look here. I got a level three in evocation. There's a few different uh, spells that they could potentially cast. Uh, solar rays, but that's only going to affect undead. Uh, this guy could potentially be casting star fires. So if we just start recruiting a bunch of mages there, that will help out some with that. So all of them should be able to start casting star fires. And I could cast arcane bolts, but you know, again, that's only going to affect uh, magic troops like the other one only affects undead. So next turn we actually should probably be able to... Uh, start taking over some of these underwater provinces, hopefully. And that is going to help us out a fair bit. Let's go ahead and... We've got 16 of those guys. I can recruit a commander here. I'll send him up there and he can pick up those uh, Zweihanders... We have 25 Templars there. Let's go ahead and recruit another mounted commander. He can lead them. And uh, I think that should be good for the moment. Now if I did have another level of magic items that we could forge, I could forge a a blood booster or two and we could give that to say our uh, vampire counts for instance and then they could also forge some of these lifelong protection contracts uh oh we need to have them blood hunt okay let's take a look here I believe that one requires four so it would take a little doing but we could potentially get up to that. Alright, we're going to go ahead and end this turn, I think. We'll make sure that we are recruiting everything we can. It wouldn't hurt to go ahead and start constructing a castle here. As long as we can hold on to that province, that will be nice and helpful for us. Okay. We'll see how this goes. We'll have a new mounted commander to take some more of those Y-handers up there to attack Marignon. Hopefully, at some point soon, Agartha will actually get involved in that and begin attacking them. Uh, looks like he may have his hands full with Kalium. But, uh, he does have a number of troops there that I see that could actually attack Marignon. I would like to move up there and surround his capital and actually pump in a bunch of province defense there. Uh, I do believe we have lost some quite valuable provinces up there. I would like to get back though. Alright, so we've captured about 31 blood slaves there. He didn't find any magic sites. It looks like uh, TNG has attacked us in CERN. And I actually neglected to move them to the rear. But uh, I think we're pretty much just going to slaughter them anyways. Shouldn't matter tremendously. Don't expect much in the way of losses from our Black Templars. We do have crossbowmen, which is not terribly good for us. 
Well, we just killed their leader. So now they are running for it. Okay, how much did we lose? We lost two of our Black Templars there. Okay. And we have attacked uh, Marignan in the Green Marshes. We lost a couple Thralls, but that's all we lost. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. Okay. So the Thralls were more or less there just to soak up a few arrows and ranged attacks as our Zweihanders closed in. Carl, the member of the second tier, was wounded. Really? The practice of blood hunting has brought the taint upon one of your servants. Really? Where is that at? Huh. Interesting. Okay. Let's go ahead and... What has happened to our treasury here? Uh, why are we only at 55? Okay. Hmm. Alright, let's go ahead and give a... Well, I can't do that yet, can I? Instead, we're going to go ahead and assign these to our Illithid commanders. And we're going to go ahead and send them into the water. This will hopefully be enough to take over this Indy province right down here. I guess we will see shortly. And can't actually go ahead and move our vampire count here now. It should probably be safe. I've got a number of priests here preaching. And with any luck, they should keep the province well in our dominion. And these guys also need to blood hunt. We'll have him research. He can move up here and site search in this province. Let's go ahead and move him there. We'll move this guy here to pick up some more of our Black Templars. And they both need to research. And he can research as well. And let's have her forge another lifelong protection contract. So we're at four. I believe I've got one sitting in the magic item treasury. So next turn I should be... Well, actually, by the time we build a fortress there, we should be able to construct another one. Okay. Let's go ahead and... Oh, actually, we'll take a look at this battle right here. Looks like TNG has attempted to take this province, but it didn't go well for them. Our province defense actually outnumber them by a pretty good margin. Actually, our mounted uh, heavy cavalry alone is probably going to actually manage to rout them because they just killed the enemy commander. Actually, I guess they still have a ancestor guide. But uh, they should sustain pretty good losses in this battle. Yeah, they've actually lost more than half of that little army. Okay. So 
So I'm going to leave them there as we wait for these reinforcements that are going to be coming up. And let's go ahead and move these guys back to the rear. That way if we lose anything, it's all going to be just a uh, province defense, hopefully. Go ahead and move our priests back as well. And let's give those guys to him and mix them into the back too. And actually, he needs to start preaching. Alright, we're going to go ahead and end our turn. This next turn, we're going to build a a laboratory right there in that province uh, that borders Joman. And I may start blood hunting there. We'll have the guys that are just sitting in that province actually switch over to uh, doing some patrolling rather than just defending the province. Actually, it would have been smart to go ahead and do that a long time ago. A little bit of an oversight on our part. Okay, looks like this turn is just about completed generating. Updating known by. Okay, so he searched uh, CERN. He didn't find anything. Looks like we found about 40 blood slaves. Uh, Marigodon is attempting to assassinate one of our commanders here. He's actually attempting to assassinate our black priest. Don't know how this is going to go. Kind of go either way. Okay, so we killed the assassin. And, okay, this is our battle in the Water Province. Hopefully we've actually managed to take this one over. If not, we'll... Okay, yes. We have taken our first Water Province. Well, we are going to focus on taking over as many more of those as we can. And Marignan has attacked us in the green marshes here. So we've got those troops versus our little bit of province defense that we could afford and our Zweihanders. I think we're going to win this. Okay, looks like a number of them are starting to retreat now. I guess our vampire count actually got involved. He's what really made the difference there. Excellent. And we had an unexpected event where we gained 325 gold, so that's good. Okay. Am I really spending that much money to uh, recruit troops? Apparently I was spending a great deal of uh, gold. Let's go ahead and recruit another of those little fish commanders. So that's uh, 40 troops. That's about all he can actually command anyways. That's going to be a pretty decent uh, income province right there. Okay, we're going to go ahead and construct a laboratory right here. And... We've got our new mounted commander here. Actually, we have a couple of them. We'll go ahead and... Put all of them into a lion formation. 
back towards the rear for right now. And we are going to send them back this way. I guess that's as far as they can go. Have a little bit of unrest building up here. Let's go ahead and set these guys to research for a turn. And we're still doing okay on our uh, research and unrest right here. So we're going to have her go ahead and forge yet another of these lifelong protection contracts. We'll actually have three of them in that province. And let's go ahead and recruit a priest there. Got a pretty decent amount of these uh, horse brothers or light cavalry here too. So I should be set to go ahead and attack one of our enemies here soon. I'm trying to find a scout that we can recruit. All right. So I believe I'm actually going to go ahead and send him back. How many of these guys can we actually recruit? We can actually recruit quite a few of these Tritons. Hmm. What is the difference between a regular Triton and a Triton Guard? They don't cost much in the way of resources though, so that's nice. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'll just actually leave him there. And we are recruiting another of those fish commanders there. I'll just give him one more troop to fill that out. Okay. And we have our mounted commander there. We're going to go ahead and give him our Zyhanders. Put them into a line formation. And of course set them to attack the... No, no, no. Attack the closest enemy. Okay. Move them right up there. And am I recruiting? Apparently I'm still recruiting units there. Hmm. I need to decrease that by one, and now I should be able to recruit a commander for them. Oops, not him. I want a commander. Okay. I've got 24 units already in that province. And actually, you know, we don't need to have a commander. I can just go ahead and send our Black Templar right here. To move into that province. And. Recruit a few more of them. Because these uh, underwater provinces here. At least specifically this one is. Worth pretty good in income. That one is as well. That one's quite wealthy. That one's very nice. If I can start taking over these, our income is going to be quite good. Much better than what we're currently sitting here with. And that's going to help us out tremendously. Okay. 
kind of have a bit of a feeling that we may be attacked here soon. Okay. All right, we're going to go ahead and end our turn and see what happens. Once I get a really good amount of these lifelong protection contracts, I'm going to send all of them to attack, and we'll just uh, see how that goes. It should probably be enough to overwhelm any, you know, normal amount of province defense that they might put in there in addition to the troops that they also have. I think I should have three of those lifelong protection contracts just sitting in my magic item treasury uh, this turn even. Okay, so we have completed another level of research in blood magic. We're kind of getting somewhat close to our goal where we can start recruiting vampire lords. Uh, someone has claimed the throne of life. Ryla's making proclamations. Yeah, it looks like Agartha is attacking a few people. Got a dominion change. One of our members of the second tier was wounded. Units have gotten younger. The Throne of Life brings youth to all living. That's interesting. Okay. So we've pretty much gotten rid of the unrest there. Let's go ahead and set them back to blood hunting. And we are going to give all of these priests here a lifelong protection contract. And make sure that they are all back in the rear. Okay, I think he's about the... No, apparently there's still one more. I'm not seeing any uh, white dots there. Hmm. I'm looking at every one of these units. I don't have any commanders that are in the center here. I don't know why I'm actually seeing that. That's quite strange. Oh, it's these little Hoburg guards. Okay. And what is their army looking like? I believe I'm a little more tempted to go ahead and move them up there. And then we're going to attack with all of these guys and their lifelong protection contracts. We're going to go ahead and just research there for now. He needs to search for magic sites and really I'm actually quite surprised with all the priests we have here preaching that that is still under negative dominion in fact that one is as well that means I need to get my uh, vampire count out of there and let's have him preach Okay. I'm going to go ahead and move all of them into his party. I'm going to come down there with them. And it says there's about 60 of these guys. I think we can probably take them. If not, they'll be 
severely weakened, I think. And we'll have gained another 128 gold per turn. So once I get these guys up here, I'm actually going to go ahead and I think I'm going to attack right here. Let's go ahead and send him up. Actually, I have another scout right there. I can send him up there. So we're going to leave him there. And we're going to see if we can go ahead and smash some of these temples. We've got a decent amount of our Black Templars there. Probably more than enough to take out these guys. But, we still have three months remaining before we have our castle completed there. So let's go ahead and just repeat recruitment on them. And we're going to attack this province and throw a little bit more in the way of province defense here. And I think I'm actually going to have him attack the same province. And then together they're all going to try and take out this one. At least that is what we are hoping for. Alright, let's go ahead and end this turn. And hopefully this next turn we'll actually be able to do a decent amount of attacking. The uh, plus side of giving the Lifelong protection contracts to the priests, I do believe, is that uh, they can sit back there and cast their spells, and their spells do not fatigue them, so uh, if it comes to a rout, then they'll probably still be perfectly conscious to run away. Downside is that they have nothing in the way of armor. Okay, so it looks like uh, Joman has attacked us here. Oh, they're trying to attack us with... Uh, actually, they managed to attack us in the province where we have our Black Templars of all things. Which, unfortunately, that may have stopped them in their tracks. Okay. So we had a battle in Blue Water. Um... It looks like we've successfully taken that province. That's good. Let me go ahead and continue on. Let's recruit... Uh, I don't need a commander. Just recruit some more guys here. Okay. I do believe I neglected to construct another lifelong protection contract. So we're going to go ahead and combine all of our Black Templars. We're going to put them up in the lead. And we're going to have all of our Light Cavalry, right behind them. And we are going to go ahead and select all of them. And we are going to attack right here. So we've got, what, seven of these lifelong protection contracts. So we should actually be generating about 14 imps per turn. 
which is not too shabby. I'm going to have them researching. Continue to recruit them. Repeat the recruitment on that. Okay. Let's check this battle at Valrest. Um, looks like we lost only two troops there. A couple of the thralls. So that's practically nothing. Let's take a quick look at it. Yeah. That went pretty much like I was expecting. Looks like Marignon attacked us at Walden. And we've defeated their attacking force. And they attacked us there at the Green Marshes, but we lost that battle. The province defense there, quite honestly, just kind of sucks. But, uh, I'm going to go ahead and give these Y-Handers to them. I'm going to move our vampire count back down there. And... Let's go ahead and throw them up here. Put them there. And we'll set those guys down there. So this mounted commander is going to head back down there. And they are going to attack the wolf tribe archers here. And we're going to throw 39 into the province defense there. We should be able to move back up here and start taking those provinces fairly easily again soon here. Okay. Let's take a look up here. I'm going to go ahead and have her forge another lifelong protection contract. And we're still a number of turns away from having our level 7 in blood research. So let's go ahead and end our turn and see how this battle goes against T and Chi where we are attacking. We have a considerably larger force this time than what we had the last time we tried an attack. And not to mention we are generating about 14 imps per turn. be rather nice to have an army with, say, I don't know, 20 of the uh, lifelong protection contracts and generate about 40 imps per turn. Uh, that should overwhelm just about any army, actually. You know, all but a really large ones that are completely focused on smashing you to pieces. But when you consider the fact that we've already got some really nice Black Templars mixed in there, uh, that should be quite, quite good. We have some huge battle here that went about 83 turns. Hopefully that was not a battle with us. Okay. So we found, wow, we found a decent amount. We found about 50 Blood Slaves. Uh, someone has claimed the throne of might. Uh, looks like we have taken over another NDC province with no losses. That's good. And uh, Marignan has attacked us at uh, Valrest and they lost all their forces. And here we are. We are attacking... Tian Chi in Bitter Pass. So I do believe we're going to wipe them out quite easily here. We've got all these imps that are already attacking the enemy. I should keep them busy while our 
the Black Templars close in. We might actually do this without taking any losses at all. <laughs> They're trying to banish the imps, but the imps are uh, just coming too fast. Every turn there's more of them. There's a pretty healthy amount of imps there. Looks like our stupid light cavalry is inflicting more injuries on our troops than they are the enemies. Alright, speed this up here. Slightly interesting to watch the battle. Okay, and then it looks like Joman was apparently sending a force through there. And we've caught them as well. And, again, I don't really expect to lose any troops against Joman here. Really, we could just, uh, sit back and have our Black Templars hold an attack and the imps might successfully eliminate the whole enemy army by themselves. Okay. And we have attacked at Spring Spires. We lost about 10 of our heavy infantry. But that's all we lost and we successfully have taken over the province. So now we have yet another of the province that borders Marignan's capital. I don't know what that was, but it's dead now. On the other hand, he had a tremendous singing voice. That would be from the original Batman. With, uh, what was his name? Michael Keaton? All right, so TNG has attacked us in CERN once again, and we suffered zero losses. Okay. <sighs> Don't know if I want to continue moving along or pull back here and maybe attempt to take out some of these guys I think we're actually going to see if we can take out one of these provinces here hopefully that 36 province defense will be enough to hold that province for us let's go ahead and take uh, these triton troopers here We'll move them there. Um, I don't know if he'll actually try to attack us this turn or not. I'm going to recruit. Looks like we can actually recruit maybe about 30 of them there. Can I even command 30 of them? Looks like all I can get is about 17. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Okay. So, that's a halfway decent uh, income province there. But, this is one of the province bordering our capital. Quite honestly, I don't have the numbers of troops that I need to actually take that one. Instead, we're going to attack down here with the Atlantean Militia. Let's 
let's have him research. We're sitting here with about 15 of the Black Templars in our home province now. I think. I have him research. Got a number of these other guys that need to research. Actually, I have a Astral 3 mage here, too. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and take these Black Templars, and I think we're going to go ahead and send them down here. And we may go ahead and... Uh, I'll probably just keep combining and increasing the size of the force right here and keep throwing more of those lifelong protection contracts in as well. And we're going to go ahead and forge yet another one of those. I believe I have one in the magic item treasury right now too. Okay, I've already searched for magic sites there. Unfortunately, we didn't find any. And let's recruit a priest instead. So I'll be able to give one contract to our mounted commander and one to another priest. Let's set him to patrol the province. Throw some province defense in there. And let's send this mounted commander back down here. And I wish I could recall what the income was like in these provinces. I think it would be more advantageous for us to say take out one of those, but he really has no way of reinforcing these provinces, so we're actually going to go for that. I think I'm going to go ahead and send these troops up to him as well. Where is he? There he is. Okay, so we'll combine those Y-handers with the ones we have here, and then we'll take over these provinces once again. Don't know if they're going to attack us or not. Uh, we could potentially lose that province here. All right, but we'll go ahead and end our turn here, and I think this is going to be a good spot to end the video as well. So, as always, if you enjoy our videos, I hope you'll like and subscribe, and we will see you again soon. Thank you very much.